So a few weeks ago, I had an awesome meal at a Michelin star restaurant, and I thought it'd be fun to recreate one of the dishes that I had. So this is a truffle chicken roulade in a miso broth. So for the chicken, I've got chicken breast right here. I'm going to butterfly it so it's extra thin. I'll cover it in plastic wrap and pound it out as thin as it'll go. Next, I'm going to take slices of prosciutto and lay those out on top. Just a slice or two. We don't want the flavor of that ham to overtake everything else. And next, I'm going to make a truffle compound butter. So I've got these jarred truffle slices that I used in my Costolete de la Carta video. I'm going to mince these up as finely as I can. Along with a couple of cloves of garlic that are minced finely as well. And about 30 grams of butter. I'm going to mush those all together. and then spread that thinly on each piece of chicken. Now I'll roll that up tightly. And using the same plastic wrap that I used to pound out the chicken, I'll wrap it up. Twist the ends so it becomes a nice little sausage. Tie those together. I'm going to seal them up in this vacuum bag. I'm going to cook these sous vide, so I want to make sure that the water is touching as much surface of the chicken as possible. I'm going to put my immersion circulator in a pot full of water. I'm going to set the temperature to 155 because that'll give us a fully cooked yet juicy texture on this chicken breast. According to Kenji, you can go as low as 130, 135, uh, but you probably don't want to because even though it will be fully cooked, the texture of a rare chicken is not really appetizing. Although I kind of want to try making something with that at some point. Chicken tartare? Would that be disgusting? I don't know. Maybe we'll find out. And once the water comes up to temperature, I'll add in my little bag of sausages and let that go for an hour just to be safe. While that's going, I'll work on the broth. So this is going to be basically a miso soup, which starts out with a dashi. So here I've got some kelp or kombu sheets that I'm going to add into a pot, along with a liter of water. I'll bring that up to a boil, and as soon as it's boiling, I'll remove the kelp and add in a handful of bonito flakes. In case you're unfamiliar, this is a smoked fish that gets shaved into these little flakes. I'm going to kill the heat, let those infuse for a few minutes. I'm 
Then I'll strain out the broth. And you can keep this in the fridge up to a week in case you wanted to make more miso soup in the future. But I'm going to jump right back into making the soup right now. So I've got a finely sliced shallot. I'm going to throw into that pot. Along with a good glug of olive oil. And about 20 grams of butter. And I'm going to stir these over medium heat until they take on a little bit of color. I'll deglaze with a little bit of white wine. Simmer that for a few minutes to burn off the alcohol. Then I'll add in the dashi. As well as about 15 ml of soy sauce. And 15 mils of mirin. That's a seasoned rice wine. And now I'm going to strain in some red miso. Red miso has a little bit more robust flavor than white miso, so I think it'll stand up to the chicken and truffles quite well. Now back to the chicken, I'm going to unwrap it. And you can see it's in this perfect round shape now. So I'll slice it into one centimeter cross sections. Place that in a dish. along with some broth, a few of the shallots, and some sliced up leaves of yellow shard. And while this doesn't quite match up with the Michelin star caliber of the meal that I had, all the flavors go surprisingly well together. The truffle garlic butter really stands out here and is balanced and rounded out by that miso broth. So it's really just a fun combination of different foods. So if you have access to the ingredients and the technology used here, then I hope you give this a try. Either way, I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you guys next time. Cheers. Mm -hmm.